Hi guys, it's Christina from City Bright Knits, and this tutorial is going to be showing you how to crochet these cute black cat granny squares for Halloween. I'm going to pick up with the black squares starting with the circles already made. You can find how to make these circles in my crochet tutorial for my Halloween bandana. It's going to be making the same exact circle in black yarn, and when you get to the point of joining the second color, join me here. Picking up with our black circles, we are going to be joining a second yarn color. For me, I'm going to join white along the top of my black cat granny squares. You can choose whatever color you like here. Go ahead and attach to your circle. A method that I like to do for color changes is to work a single crochet and complete that stitch. And to my first color change, it secures the yarn really well. We are going to be working 18 single crochet along the top half of your circle. You should have 36 stitches total, but we are just going to be defining a semicircular part of this cat's head. And I'm choosing white for that, but like I said, choose any color that you want to do. And once you have 18 single crochet here, I'll show you what to do next. At this point, we're going to finish the circle back in the black color yarn. I cut my yarn and I'm reattaching it here. If you didn't want to cut your yarn, I would just recommend doing the black half of the circle first and then the white half of the circle. We're gonna be doing the same technique, 18 single crochet all the way around in this black color until you meet the change in white color. At this point, your circle has 36 stitches, and we're just going to continue to the next round in this black yarn. I'm working two single crochet, followed by two double crochet. This is building the side of the cat's face. For the ears, I'm going to work a treble crochet, so yarn over twice, and into this stitch, I'm going to complete a treble crochet followed by another treble crochet in the same stitch. After I have those two treble crochet, I'm gonna chain two, and then work another two treble crochet into that same stitch. So four treble crochet total into the same stitch for the cat's ear. Working down the other side of the cat's ear, I'm going to do the exact same thing as before by working a double crochet into the next two stitches. Across the top of the cat's head are going to be four single crochet. Up the next side, we're just gonna repeat the process. So two double crochet stitches and then when it comes to the cat's ear, we're going to be working into the same stitch for treble crochet. So first treble crochet, followed by a second treble crochet, chain two at the tip of the ear, and then work your next two treble crochet into that same stitch space. Working down the side of the cat's face, we're gonna be doing the same stitches as before, symmetrically adding two double crochet into the next two stitches and completing the side with two single crochet into those white color changes. I'm gonna have all of these stitches listed for you in the description below, so hit subscribe if you wanna check back later, but we're gonna continue on with making the rest of the square. To continue working around this square, we are just gonna be doing the same thing, except I'm gonna be using the white color. This is gonna help define the side of the cat's face for me. I'm gonna be starting with those two single crochet where I left off, and peep the description below because all of the stitches are gonna be listed for you there. I'm just working this same side in white, exactly symmetrical as I did to the black side.
When it comes to making the cat's face, I'm just using some scrap colors that I have here. I am going to be choosing a light pink for the nose and I'm taking my tapestry needle and folding the yarn in half to thread the needle. This is just a technique that I like to do and it helps to not fray the ends. There's no direct size here or stitches that you should do. I'm just coming through the back side over the exact center of the granny square and I'm just going to work a few threads of yarn over that circle. This pretty easily identifies the nose, but you can have fun making the cat's shape however you want. So I'm just repeating my stitches about three times to make it a little thicker each time. Once I've made the top of the nose, I'm just going to come through and make a line straight down to form the mouth. All I'm doing is creating a T-shape here and working upwards from the back side of the granny square. I'm just coming with the yarn through again, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball how I want the cat's mouth to take shape. When it comes time for the whiskers, I am using the same color yarn. I'm going to come up about halfway up the cheek from the back side again, and I'm going to be forming a V shape. This helps me get the whiskers pretty much even because I'm just going to do three little whiskers on this side. So I'm doing the top first, then the bottom one, and then a middle whisker. I'm making it slightly longer just so that it has a little more definition to it. I'm going to do the same exact thing from the other sides. I'm coming back up kind of parallel to the nose and then back towards the mouth. Then back up from the other side. I'm going to make that V shape again from the bottom. Back through and then I'm going to make that middle whisker a little longer than the other two. Once you're done doing this part of the face with the pink yarn, you're then just going to tie off the yarn in the back and move to the eyes. For my eyes, I'm grabbing this kind of teal blue color, threading the needle the same way as I did before. And I'm just gonna estimate where I want the eyes. There's no right or wrong shape for this. I'm just gonna make mine very simple with a few lines. I'm starting again with forming a triangle that's just easy for me to help make a center point for my cat's eyes. You can leave it this way or I might try to add a line to the side just for a little more eye definition. I'm coming through for the second eye the same way I did for the first and if you think they look pretty even, you can go ahead and add extra little details here if you want to.